three, two, one. Hello everybody, Pentlock here again. Um, so here we are at Castle Burton. Thought that it would be pretty cool for us to come with the mod Spotlight. Um, well, uh, the first thing we have here is a ship that was created and donated to us by Dan Helsting. Uh, we think he did a great job, so wanted to add that here to complement the castle we have going on over here. And uh, I see someone moving around. Who could this be? Uh, it's, uh, oh, it's Attic! Arg, matey! Have you come to steal my booty? Arr. I don't know, you got any in here? Nah, man. Oh! Wait, wait! We got coal and sticks and dark oak plank and some roses and stuff so I'll tell you what I don't want your booty you can keep it my booty stinks <laughs> the cannon don't work fire I think you broke it hey, you were here before so what, do we got go what do we got going on here oh my goodness look at that castle it's huge yes it is I bet whoever built this spent like 20 minutes on it, man. It's huge. 20 minutes? Well, a little bit of information. Just the exterior of the castle took 47 hours of non-stop work. It's a lot, man. Yes, and I'll be honest, that was even using World Edit to help out a little bit took 47 hours to complete. I stayed up for a day and a half straight, then took a nap, and then uh, 10 hours later, logged back in, finished her up. You sure did do a good job, man. Now, should we show them a night view? Yeah, man. You want to go ahead and uh, let people know that it's going to become nighttime and change it? I uh, let you change it and I'll tell everybody. Okay, that works. But yeah, so this is Castle Burton and the lovely ship in front. Uh, we'll call it the Hellsting. Does that sound good for a ship? I think that that is wonderful. Alright, so let's do a slash night. And here is the night view. When the light go down in the city it's all I know either way I think we did a excellent job here so if we come down here hmm, I know Attic's around here somewhere I'm sure he'll show up, up above you oh 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 here he comes so how do we get inside this castle here well if you try to go in this way, you're gonna die. Really? Even if you, yeah, even if you got a potion, watch. Ooh. Yep, you're gonna die. Oh so, yeah. The only way to get into this castle is to pay three diamonds if you're a regular member, or if you're VIP, you get in for free, or if you're VIP plus, you get in for free. That sounds like a sweet deal. Yeah, considering two diamonds is, like, a lot. Alright, so there's a command that allows us to get inside. Uh, it's warp, uh, what, castle? Uh, I think so. Alright. Oop, here we are, inside the castle. Here I am. Oh, chest must is empty. Darn it. Now, is there anything in these chests, Attic? To tell you the truth, there's randomly placed items throughout the castle. You may find some diamonds, you may find some gold, you may find some golden apples, maybe some, uh, some food. Sweet. Sounds cool. So, Pitlock is the master of doing exterior and he called upon me to come and help decorate the interior and so the inside was done by Pitlock and myself and uh, it took us uh, 
How many weeks did it take us to do this? Well, the first time we did it, it took us two and a half weeks to complete it. And we had a mishaps and a setback that we had to reload uh, a pr older copy of it, uh, which set us back, what, uh, about 12 hours? Yeah, I'd say that we were like at 99% done, and then the glitch happened and set us back to about 80. Yeah, so... I would say now we're about 98% done, but it is operational, um, so you are free to come in, explore, and try to find its bounty. Now, so, um, what, what are you going to get when you get to the end of this dungeon? Uh, when we get to the end, to the end of the dungeon, uh, you will be able to fight a boss, and you will also receive a... What, 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 what did we assign this dungeon? Was it the sword? Yeah, you get a, a Sharpness 6 sword, and that's a sword that you cannot create in-game. Yes, so this is uh, enough of a challenge that uh, it's worth a Sharpness 6 sword. Now, you said that at the end we get to fight the boss. Is that like my boss at work? Because I'm totally going to do it. Oh, no, 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 no. We do not support violence in the real world, my friend. No, I thought maybe we made, like... My boss, never mind. Oh, oh, that? Oh, okay. Um, well, it's not exactly your boss, but it is a boss. It's, uh, Lord Burton. He was the king of this castle. What happened to him? He died. Became a zombie. He kind, he kind of got cursed by a evil wizard. It sounds like a horrible death. Yeah, he he had a name. Um, what was he? Oh, yes, he was a wither boss with a super really powerful one, an ancient one, and he cast some kind of a spell that turned all the inhabitants of the castle into undead creatures. Yeah, sucks to be him. Yeah. So what's this room? This is a uh, where, where you know the dining hall where you come and eat, you know, and um. You know, wherever there's somewhere to eat, you gotta have a kitchen. That's what's back here. You got the kitchen back here. Yep, and we do apologize for how dark it may seem, but um, that is because it needs to be dark. So, uh, it'll be a little bit difficult. We're going to tell the truth, and it's not going to be an easy journey because mobs will spawn, so. Oh yeah, by the way, we have the mobs turned off right now, so we don't get our butts kicked. Yeah, uh, you probably see the flashes of light from the spawners. I'm gonna burn myself. Oh, you moved it. Darn it. I was gonna bathe in the fire. So, should we tell them the secret trick in this room? Nah, let them figure it out. Okay. But, this is the kitchen. Feel free to search the chests. You might find something worthwhile. There's a secret in here, too. So, I think we should show them the ballroom and the library, and then jump ahead to uh, the objectives. How's that sound? It sounds good to me. This is the ballroom in here, I think. No, nope, it's not the is, stairs. This is the stairwell, dude. And I will tell you, everybody, the first couple of times you come in here, you will get lost. I still get lost, and I built the day on thing. <laughs> so, this is the ballroom, and uh, we've got the CD player over here. Do you got any music discs? Nope. I think nope. they got raided already. Oh, they got raided. But you put the music in, and you come over here, and you hit the light show. Oh, here we go. Oh. I was outside the chunk, so this side didn't light. Um. Yeah, sometimes you have we have lighting issues. <laughs> so this is the ballroom. Uh, feel free to have fun in here. Dance, dance, dance until you can't dance, dance, dance. No dance with the monster. You. Yep. So we're coming down here, and this is probably one of my favorite rooms. 
Um, because I spent a lot of time in this room. This would be the library. Yes, this... How much time did we spend in here? Oh, we spent lots of time in here. Yes. Cause there's all kinds of secret passageways. So yes, this is the library. Pretty nifty. So anyway, um, we're gonna go ahead and skip ahead to the first objective, which should be the first thing that you do. Um, so we will be back in just a second. Okay, everybody, uh, here we are at the first checkpoint. It is the fountain room. It's so, kind of a lounge area, too, you know, where you can kick back, relax, you know, get some bookshelves and some tables over here, and grab a book off the case. <laughs> yeah, right. Who am I kidding, man? You ain't gonna have time to sit down and do nothing. You're gonna have spawn monsters all over you, man. Alright, and what is the objective in this room? The objective of this room is to run to this little spot right here, right here, and you're gonna click that button. Should we click it? Alright. So All I don't right. know if you guys heard that or not, but that's checkpoint one. Alright, so once you arrive in this room, make sure that you push this button. You'll hear the pistons go off, and then move on to your next checkpoint. So we're gonna go what, ahead and. Dude? Oh, what? Look, man. What, what? Look, man, there's a zombie right here. Oh, how did he get in here? I don't know, man. Let's kill him. How'd you get in here, dude? How'd you, how'd you get in here, man? Ah! Oops. I hate it when you say that, man. Oopsie. There, it's fixed. Maybe I shouldn't do that while I'm in creative. <laughs> it's cool, man. They know that we're admins. Yeah. Now, just to let everybody know, I do have a separate playing account. I'll go ahead and announce that now. It is Dragon's Spirit. And I use that when I'm actually playing the game, which is just a VIP Plus account with no creative or any of that fun stuff. So, Attic has to dual purpose. He doesn't have a choice. Yeah. He's not cool like us and have multis. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, this is the first checkpoint, and we will see you at the second one. And this, everybody, is our archery range. And as you can see behind me, we have all... What? 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 Are you shooting bow and arrows at me? No, 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 no. Not at you. This is an archery range, man. You're supposed to hit... You're supposed to hit these targets back here, man. Uh, these, they, not, not me, man. Come on. What, what are you doing, man? I thought we were friends. I thought, I thought you were cool, man. You're not my friend. Hey! Hey! Hey, I, I'm just showing how horrible of a shot I am. Yeah. Anyway, so the goal is, you stand here next to this white line. Don't cross the white line. And then... Fire away. That didn't go far enough. I'm picking up arrows like a mofo. So, anyway, this is the room where the, the, the second checkpoint is. Okay. And this right here, yeah, right here, man. Come over here, look. Check it out. Right here, this is the um, stage... Wait, this is stage two. Ah, uh, well, it's actually stage two. You hit the second. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, you hit this one, and uh, you, have to, you have to hit the target, man. What target? Alright, if you look, there's a target back here. And right up here, there's a button. So let's see oh, if yeah. we can hit that. Come on, man, hit it. Alright, did everybody hear the pistons? This one is now active. You have to hit them all, man. Hit them all? Hit all the, hit all the buttons, man. I did hit the button. I know what I'm saying, I'm telling the people, man. Oh, right, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cause you had to hit checkpoint one, then you hit checkpoint two. And trust us, it's your choice if you decide to do it in a different order. That's up to you. But make sure, if you want the real prizes, you'll hit it this way. 
Yeah, because if you hit it the right way, then you get like a special prize, and then you get to defeat the boss and you get a more prize. Oh, and Attic, I've decided something. Have you ever heard of a game called the most dangerous uh, game or the most dangerous hunt or something like that? No, but I don't like it. I don't like where this is going. You're lucky like I'm a it. bad shot. I don't like it. I don't like it. So, anyway, we will see you at the next point of importance. By the way, you suck. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Alright, here we are at the next point of interest, and where is this, Attic? This is the vault, man, and, uh, like, you gotta come here, and when you, you know, you hit the buttons, and you gotta hit, like, one, two, and then, what's that button that comes after two? I uh, think that's, uh, three. Three. Yeah, yeah three comes yeah. after two. Yeah, man. So you gotta hit, like, the one, two, and then the three. Uh, so you hit the first checkpoint, and the second checkpoint, and now you come down here and you hit the third. And this is the reset button right here. And so you gotta come down here, hit the reset, and then you come over here, and you hit the, the combination. And uh, I guess you're wondering where you find the combination. But uh, you can find the combination throughout the castle. Um, there's like clues that tell you where it's at. And then you get the combination, and you put it in, it's like one, two, three, and it opens, right? Uh, correct, but it is not one, two, three, just so everybody knows. And it is a uh, five-digit combination. Yeah, sorry, yeah. it took me a second. Yeah, so you gotta hit like a couple numbers like twice or something. Yep. And so, so you hit, you hit these buttons over here in the right combo in the right order, and then you come over here and hit this button right here. You may hit it. Uh, yeah. And it opens the door. Now, of course, we yeah. had already pre-programmed the combination into it. Now, let's go ahead and go through. And when we come through and hit these pressure plates, it now resets the system. And now we just wait for a little bit, hang out in here. What, count 30? Yeah, yeah, there's... Um, this is a safe zone, isn't it? Um, no, it's not. Oh. I thought it was. Um, I, well, I don't know. We might make it a safe zone in the future. Okay. So then, like, um, you get to come over here, and you open up the chest. And Is there anything in them yet? Oh, man, there's so many things in here, man. But you can only get these goodies. Oh wait, is that the sword? Yes, that's the sword. Castle event sword number four. Yeah. So these are these are like special gifts that you get for playing along. And now, then there's a, there's an inner chest so you can put all your goodies in there so you don't die and lose all your good stuff. Now we are not guaranteeing the sword will be in these chests forever. Because currently I'm working on a way to get it so that the boss will spit the sword out instead. Yeah. But you'll still want to come here to collect your other goodies that you'll get in these chests. So, uh, where do we go now, man? Um, the next place. Wouldn't it be the boss's chamber? I guess it would be. Is there a bed around here, man? I'm tired. Um, well, there's probably 5,000 beds in this castle. Go find one. Oh my gosh. Well, after our attic finishes his nap, uh, then we'll pop on over and show you the boss chamber. Maybe even be able to fight the boss. Sounds cool to me, man. Alright, see you after attic's nap. So, here we are at the, uh, at the mage tower. And, uh, this is where you'll go to get to the uh, boss's chambers, and uh, by the way, I found a bed right over behind Pitlock and took a little nap. So, oh, we're there. Uh, yep, yeah, right there. Um, so um, this is the this is the area that you have to go through, and once you go through here, just look for the beacon. Yeah, yeah. Um, unless you've gone through all three checkpoints, you can't go past this point. 
Yeah. And the vault is also considered a checkpoint, so make sure that you go to the vault. Yeah. And so you don't want to fall down these stairs here, down this walkway thing, because then uh, you kind of got to start all over. Yep, because you'll have to jump down to the front of the castle or warp back inside and start over. But the yep. good thing is, if you know that you've hit all the buttons, you will not have to go through and hit them again. You'll be able to just come straight into the boss's chamber. Yep. So, anyway. I don't want to go in there. I don't want to go in there. Well, first off, I'm, since, uh, we are, oh, crud, I can't what? do, I can't do commands right now, so could you do the, uh, turning on of the mobs, toggle it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, you can come in here, and you can drop down into the water, which will cushion your fall so you don't take any damage. And, yes, there are a few mob spawners in this room. Alright, man. Alright, so it's on and working. That's right. Alright. Got a creeper yep. in the corner. Okay, you wanna do the honors? Do do do, come over here, and we'll do a little button clicking. And there's our boss. Mean little All guy right. there. He doesn't look so bad. Well, take yourself out of creative and see what happens. I don't think so, man. <laughs> well, just just for an experiment, I think that I will. So, well, I'll have... Hey, take me out of creative. You can do it. S slash GM. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Uh, okay. I'll sacrifice myself if I have to. Uh oh, here he comes. Oh, he just spawned a buddy. Oh! Now to let you know, this buddy here only stays around for 8 seconds and then he vanishes. And it, after a 20 second period, our boss here will spawn another little buddy. See if Attic survives long enough for it to happen. Oh, maybe you have to hit him or something. I don't know. I'm not having very much fun, man. I noticed. So yes, this is the boss. And maybe we can get him to... spawn an... Oops. Didn't mean to do that. But anyway, so this is the boss, and he has a few things that he likes to do, and... If you can beat him, you will get a nice little prize. My apologies about how loud the creepers are. But if you defeat him, then you can get a nice little prize. And you'll just have to beat him to find out what all you get. So this is Castle okay, I'm Burton. Almost dead. I'm, I'm leaving. And this is Lord Burton. Oh! And he just brought the second one. So is he dead? Oh no, you're dead. <laughs> so this is Castle Burton, and we hope you enjoy it. There will be more dungeons coming in the future. Um, give you a little hint, there's a pirate ship that is almost complete. Uh, hopefully we'll have it up and running in the next uh, few weeks. So we hope you enjoy, and uh, have fun. Our <laughs> Alright, see y'all later, guys.